Hello and welcome to Mountain Patriot Homestead. I've got to get some things put up real quick from the store and then I want you to join me outside before the thunderstorms get here so I can get some fresh plantain picked. And here we are out in a portion of my yard. This is actually a little fenced in area right in front of my greenhouse where I have let the plantain just grow it is growing alongside my comfrey and some other wild plants that are growing out there that I will use. And I started out, I was going to, uh, I guess, try to look fancy and use scissors to cut this with. However, it's easier most of the time just to pick by hand whatever you're picking. Um, and so I come in here and just pinch off some of these leaves. Now, something I make sure that I do is leave enough leaves behind that photosynthesis and all of those things that that plant needs to survive and to put back additional leaves on that uh, I'd leave enough of those. I don't ever come in and just decimate a plant and it not be able to come back. So, I'm just picking enough off of each of the plants that I'm using to uh, be able to do what I want to do with it. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see right at the top of the plant coming out are the, uh, then this one is a little better. Uh, you can see the stalks coming up with what are actually blooms for the plantain plant. All right, I've got my plantain rinsed. This is one rack of it that I have got ready to go into the dehydrator. I'm not going to fully dehydrate it. I'm only going to pull some of the moisture out of it, and then we will move on to the next step. And we're back. I am using a glass milk jug here, or milk bottle, I guess. Uh, as with our philosophy here at Mountain Patriot Homestead, we waste nothing, and these glass jugs like this are perfect for doing our oils and tinctures. Now, if you hear some huffing and puffing going on in the background, it is because it is still thundering in the distance and Pepper does not like thunder at all. Nothing to do with storms. She just does not like it. But back to this, what I am doing is I'm taking that plantain, if I can get a hold of it, taking the plantain that I've had in the dehydrator for two and a half hours now, I probably should have shortened up some of it, uh, or so, should have shortened the time a little bit, because some of it, some of the smaller pieces are a little more dry than I wanted, but don't overthink this. When you're making um, your oils and tinctures, most of this is very forgiving, so don't overthink it and think, oh, I've ruined it. Uh, even if you do ruin it, remember most of these were just weeds that your neighbors are probably destroying anyway, and you likely have more that you can go outside and gather. So um, these are fine. I do not have a problem still using them. Uh, most of these, if I quit dropping them, that you see why I keep a pan and a towel here because I do have a tendency to make a mess, so I am using this to kind of prevent having this everywhere, but um, I am just, if I had used a large mouth jar, this would have been so much easier, but I kind of wanted to use my little milk jug here because I think it's cute and I like it and I want to put it to use. I don't like having things sitting around that have no purpose because the older I get, the more I figure out that, you know, I don't need dust catchers around the house. So I am just going to finish up getting this in the jar 
and show you what I do next. Okay, I am finished with cutting up the plantain into this jug. As you could see, it would hold quite a bit more. And what I can do is I can cover it with some of the alcohol that I have here. I can cover what I have in this jar and then I can continue to pick it and add to this jar and just keep filling it, topping it off with more of this until I get a full jug. It's fine, like I said, don't overthink what you're doing. There's just some very basic things. Uh, as you've seen, I was cutting it up. You can tear it up, uh, break it up, whatever you need to do. Uh, the purpose of that is so more of the healing properties can be drawn out of the plant and go into your tincture. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm taking this, as you can see, this is a very cheap brand of alcohol. This is just vodka. It's 80 proof, which means it's 40% alcohol. Uh, you can use a more potent, you can use 100% if you want to, but at least 80. Now, you can make some tinctures without alcohol, but I make mine with it. It just draws out more of the healing properties, in my opinion. Now, as I have told you before in these videos, I have to tell you that I am not a medical professional. Nothing that I tell you on this channel can be construed as medical advice. This is just what I do for me and my family, for our health, and uh, it is practices that we follow that have been followed for centuries. And so it is just... Uh, it's something you should research more on your own to see if this is something that you uh, wish to do. And that's my disclaimer. Okay, got just a little bit of that left in there. But as you can see, I covered that up and I, when I put the cap on it, I will shake it a little bit just to kind of make sure that everything, I may have to put some more in it but I will just make sure that it is all covered. Now, this will get capped. It will, just like with my oil, uh, when I made the chickweed oil, it will uh, go into a cool, dark place. I will shake it every once in a while, and this will stay in here, drawing out those healing properties at least eight weeks. And when I come back, I will explain to you some of the uses that I make of this. But first, don't let me forget, um, don't let me forget, don't forget that if you make something like this, make sure you label it as to what it is, that you, you say that it is a plantain tincture or whatever you wanna call it, but make sure that you know what's in here and put the date that you started this. So that way you know what is going in here. Now, as I add to this, because I, I do think I'm going to add, I don't wanna waste, why waste this perfectly good jug? So I will be over the next few days adding to this. And what I will do is when I get the final amount or the final topped off in here, I will also put that date. So I will go from my time will start with that date rather than today's date. So there you see the start of the plantain tincture. And next I will be telling you a little bit of what I will use this for, for me and my family when we come back. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to make plantain tincture. Now I just have to come back, as I said, every few days and shake it up, uh, leave it for at least eight weeks. The longer, the stronger it will be. And once that
has uh, that plantain has set in the alcohol long enough I will strain it through a good clean cheesecloth bottle it up and keep that bottle in a cool dark place that just preserves it that much longer and what will I use it for after it is ready well Plantain is one of those things that if it was sold over the counter, it would be called a miracle drug because for us, we can use it. And the reason I say us is I cannot say you need to use this because um, YouTube doesn't like people giving out medical advice. Uh, and I don't blame them because there's so many um, so many people that have so many medical issues that I would not want to be responsible for perhaps you using something that um, may go against what you are doing that you, maybe your medical doctor is uh, prescribing for you. But um, really there are no contraindications for plantain that I have been able to find. Plantain is... Um, for me, it's a very safe alternative. I can use it for everything from sore throats to um, any type of um, dry mucus issues going on. Uh, dry mucus, that's not even what I was trying to say. It will dry mucus issues that are going on. It can be used for earaches it, as long as the eardrum's not burst. You can uh, use the tincture in the ear for um, ear infections. It can be used on wounds. Externally, um, you can take it internally for everything from um, urinary tract infections to uh, all type of internal type issues going on, uh, including if a lady is having menstrual issues. It can assist with that. Um, I'm sorry, gentlemen, I'm sure some of y'all didn't want to hear that that word, but uh, plantain is really a drug that can be used, not drug, it is an herb that can be used for many different things. It is a, I guess, a natural drug, if you want to call it a drug. It's a natural medicine uh, that can be used to um, to do so many different things but as I always urge please if you're considering trying any of these herbal infusions whether you're making a tincture whether you're making oil salves whatever you're making out of these please do your own research make sure that you understand thoroughly how to identify plants the one the plantain that I used and this one is actually, it's called a narrow leaf plantain, um, or some call it ribwort, but it is a, the real narrow leaf plantain, almost looks like a lance head. And there, we have another one that grows pretty much side by side out here in our yard, is um, the broad leaf plantain that it's, you know, it's, has similar pro properties but it, they just look different but make sure you can identify use various sources uh, when you're trying to identify any of these wild herbals that you know what uh, what you're finding and what you're using and um, just do your own research on the medical benefits the health benefits of these various plants because there's so many things in our natural world that grow around us that are helpful so much more so than these chemical based things that we are um, putting into our bodies every day so make sure though that you do your own research and that you understand what you're doing and if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments below please don't hesitate I may not know the answer but I will do my best to find it for you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions for any future videos, make sure that you list that down in the comment below as well. I hope you come back and join us again real soon. Love y'all. Mountain Patriot Homestead, signing out.